Acetaminophen, also known as paracetamol, works in the central nervous system to decrease pain and fever by reversibly inhibiting cyclooxygenase enzyme. Because it has little effect on peripheral prostaglandins, it is not used as an anti-inflammatory drug. Paracetamol also does not affect platelet function or increase bleeding time. Acetaminophen is a great alternative to non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. Paracetamol is a first-line therapy for children with fever or pain because aspirin is avoided due to risk of rise syndrome. It is useful in patients with gastric complaints with NSAIDs and those who do not require the anti-inflammatory action of NSAIDs. Acetaminophen is also preferred for individuals with bleeding disorders, peptic ulcers, and aspirin allergies. Talking about the dose of acetaminophen. It is used at a dose of 325 mg to 650 mg, 3 to 5 times a day, and the total adult dose of paracetamol per day is restricted to 2,600 mg. At normal therapeutic doses, paracetamol has few significant adverse effects. With large doses of paracetamol, the available glutathione in the liver becomes depleted, which can lead to hepatic necrosis. N-acetylcysteine is an antidote in cases of overdose. Paracetamol has a boxed warning for hepatotoxicity, which can lead to liver failure. Patients with hepatic disease, viral hepatitis, or a history of alcoholism are at a higher risk of paracetamol-induced hepatotoxicity. Using alcohol also increases the risk of liver damage. Paracetamol should be avoided in patients with severe hepatic impairment. So, that was all about the pharmacology of acetaminophen. Hope you like this video. For more pharmacology pearls, keep sharing and keep supporting us. Thank you.